Good morning. All right, let's get this done. Today we're gonna do the rune tarot. Instead of the runes, I'm picking runes. I'm gonna use cards that have runes and look them up. Let's see what we have here today. Hmm. Now the cards is already flipped. Part of the bottom of the deck. Okay. Here we go. Must be the one today. Today's card, the lovers. Let's get in there and look at it. Okay. Well, we know the meaning of the lovers card. And what we have though is a, a ruin on the chest of the male lover. Uh, Gibbo, G-E-B-O, it's number seven room. We'll look it up, Gibbo meaning. Let's look up the card meaning and they'll give me the Gibbo meaning. Here we go. The lovers. Ayun and Bergui, um, I'm sorry if I've messed up those names. Ayun and Bergui rest in a yew grove. Uh, Bergui sits cross-legged, wears a colorful tunic and a short sleeve jerkin. His pants are black and he wears knee-high boots. A lute rests on a rock at one side to his other side, this is a stack of stone tablets with runes written on them. His eyes are open. He appears to be in a trance. The rune, or gibo, glows brightly on his chest. Aeon stands behind him. Her hair is long and blonde, and she wears a white dress tied at the waist. She holds a golden apple in one hand and points up to the sky with the other hand. Floating just off the hand is the rune for Yuaz. So there's the second rune up here. Uh, it looks like an M a little bit. Okay. The, the tear of the lovers represents a choice between two people. Usually, uh, each has an intense pull toward the other. Bragi and Ium are married in the Norse stories. He is the god of poetry. Poems and stories evoked emotional connections to those who craft and listen to them. Gods and humans love to put their ideas into the world. As formed to celebrate the mark various occasions, Bragi is here to remind you of the sweet songs and the poems that tug at your emotions. Ayun is the goddess of eternal youth. She is the ten she is the tender of the garden for where the Azir's golden apple grow. It is by her choice and decision that the gods are granted eternal youth from eating this these apples. She could let one of them age if she were feeling spiteful, at least until Ragnarok. Upright, a balanced give and take, connect to passion, enjoy time with others, unity, self-acceptance. Reverse, an unstable source in, the, in your life, loveless relationship, hurtful emotion, lack of proportions, force into something. Uh, interpreting the runes. Uh, two runes appear in the lover's card. One for each. One for each veneer. Awaz. Or Iwaz. Gibo. Uh, 
uh, gift, generosity, positive, loyal, harmony. And Iwaz is room for horse. Vikings, that was one we had another day, I believe. Iwaz. Viking, well, I had, there were two, two rooms that had fallen out of the bag on the first day I did a video. Anyway, Vikings relied heavily on the horses for travel, battle, and their um, agrarian culture. A was also relates to the yew tree, which appears in the background image. As such, the rune ex explores the connection between the path of opposition or paradox. This includes spiritual ascent and exploration of the and the movement from one state to another it may also show how you go from a bad situation to a good one or a better one when a when a god takes a bite of the apple from a grove they begin to age a bit before growing younger once more thus the gods gain insight into their mortality something every human face on Midgar, Midgard. Calling upon Uaz can help you, which is the the room for horse, can help you find wisdom in the paradox that you face. If you're in a partnership of some sort, this room can help you understand the complexity of being an individual while working with others toward a common goal. Gibo means gift. Many cultures practice the art of reciprocity, which is a mutual beneficial interaction. Vikings were known for the, their ability to give the, and receive gifts. There's all, always a need to present the balance. Gibo also refers to the need to honor contracts between two sides coming together. In this way, a partnership based on love is the ultimate gift between two loving individuals. Some people view the, the creative art of writing, poetry, drama, and song as gifts from someone. Uh, some people view the, <coughs> the creative art of writing, poetry, drama, and song as gifts from the gods. Perhaps in this deck, Brugge's lute and tablet show new stories of the Hazar in exchange for clan's ability to send more stories and gifts back to Valhalla. If Gibu appears for you, Gibu, Gibu appears for you, recognize the gift that the gods have given you, whether it is the food on the table or a song, there must be a balance between what we take and what we offer. Okay. Others.